What is up my babes, it's Vidic here and welcome, welcome back to Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. If you didn't see the last episode, I pulled a beastie beastie clutch, I won't give any spoilers away, but I beat a, a whole boss, a whole hard boss I've never versed before with only one hit and destroyed him. But anyway, also on my last life, because we had like 9 lives. But anyways, we're going to do a run, new run right here and I want to, I really want to... Try out the Lost. I've had I, I unlocked him a little while ago. I haven't been able to use him much because when I play with my friend, um, we don't we're, not, we're more of like uh, we don't want to we can't play two player on Lost basically because he only has one hit to death. He doesn't have any health to give. But anyways, um, I'm gonna try to get as far as I can. I don't know how many times I'll die, but I'm really gonna try to focus and do a good run. Oh look at that! We gotta reroll our items twice. Or do we not have any items yet? All right, that kind of might make more sense. Oh god! Oh shit! That's scary! Wow! How did that one not blow up? By the way, that's weird. So, oh, range down. Thanks for that. That's that's a great start. Oh shit! Okay, gotta remember that we can fly, cause enemies like this are actually really scary. Cause it's not like you know I'm getting hit by some huge hit, my one hit by a champion. Any hit is gonna kill me. Any hit. I can't go into curse rooms. I can't do any of that stuff. So, uh, wish me luck. We also have. Curse of the Spirit of the Night, I think, which is why we have uh, tears that go through stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna die a couple times, but maybe I'll get the hang of it. I want to at least beat like Isaac, maybe. Or, no, how about Mom's Heart? Is kind of fair. I really want to try to beat Mom's Heart at least. I think that would be great. Ooh, this room is weird. Is this is this the arched hallways they're talking about? Because I know they keep saying giant arched rooms, but. This doesn't necessarily look like much of an arch. It's just kind of a, like a Tetris right angle. Okay. Item rooms over there. Uh, also, since we have our delicious pyramid item, I won't get that. We can um, we can reroll all of our items every time we we get. Okay. So blood rights sucks. Nut sacks. Um, doesn't do anything at all. So <laughs> we can't use it at all. Oh, this is gonna be it. This is what I, I could survive this. I don't think this is that bad. This shouldn't be that bad. Okay, okay. I wonder if in picking up blood rights and putting it down, it'll actually re-roll the item for us still. I'll use the pyramid since we have so much of it. Um, or maybe actually I'll save it for the boss room. Oh god, these guys are annoying. They're like ones that these guys turn into goo. Alright, come on! Just die already. Jesus Christ. This room is fucking crazy. Also on hard mode because there's really no point of playing uh, the lost not on hard mode because you only unlock really stuff with him on hard mode. <gasps> Almost died there. Um... I think. And if not, then you unlock both the hard and normal mode stuff when you play on hard mode, so why not? Whew. You know, uh, if you're good enough to beat the game on normal for, for the lost, not taking one hit, you should be able to do it without it. Alright, so one of the harder bosses here, sadly, uh, which is, could be a little tricky, so we'll see. Hopefully we get a good a good item, um, uh, and then we can re-roll it, uh, at least after we pick it up, some kind of passive item, because you can only re-roll, it doesn't re-roll items on the room, it just re-rolls all the items you have, which is a pretty cool item, to be quite honest, especially for a, the, the, the lost run. I didn't know he actually started with this. Um, oh my god! Are you kidding me? That is a fucking lethal ass hit, that's gonna kill me, like, all at once, there's no way. If he does that again, I'm fucked. I am totally fucked. And there's more of these spider guys, yes, I am... If I beat this, I am, uh, I'm either really good or really lucky. And see, why would I kill that spider? He's probably gonna put his head down and spawn another one. There you go. Fucking clockwork. Uh, and you actually, that, when you hit that head, there's actually no point in hitting that head because it doesn't transfer the damage to the spider. What a piece of shit. Oh, God. Now he's spawning more. Oh, it's spawned two at a time now. What a, what an asshole. All right, all right. As long as we don't take a hit, that's, I mean, that's how this game works. That's how the loss works. If you don't get hit through the whole game, you won't lose. Hopefully we can also, I would love to get a deal with the angel somehow. Um, I think you get a deal with the, shit! Motherfucker, dude. I was so close. And sometimes they dash a lot fucking farther than they normally do, if you guys notice. Sometimes they like double, they just go across the whole fucking map, I think. Like, and normally, you know, because normally you know an enemy's pattern, and then you know how far they can jump, but these fuckers will randomly just decide, hey, I'm gonna jump four times farther than I normally do, because that makes a lot of sense. Alright, I mean, I, in their sense, that's smart, but you shouldn't be able to do that. So, uh, what we're looking for first is the item room, and none of these, can we stop with these big rooms? Oh, shit. I'm not good enough to win with the loss yet, I don't believe. Especially while commentating. Oh my god, I didn't see him down there. Big rooms are really hard for the lost because 
I, I can't see enemies that are shooting at me always, and, you know, they might be off screen. Good thing we have uh, tiers that go through walls, though, because we can kind of just sit on top of things like this and not really have to worry that much. Although, can those other, can this little guy get to me over here? On top of here? I wonder. I don't think he can, because where is he going to land? He can't land on rocks. I mean, it would make sense, but, but no thank you. We could get a couple bombs, we'll be able to go into that little area right there and pick up a few items. Oh shit. What the fuck was that? Are you fucking joking? The fucking bomb decided to take longer to fucking blow up. You saw the other bomb blew up instant, like, fast. That one's like, oh, since, since I'm fucking chasing him, uh, I'm just gonna be able to go off longer. Yeah, you change your fucking- These enemies are being able- are, like, changing their fucking strategies and their codes in the middle of the fucking game. I swear. Like, why would- if they're the same exact bomb, why would they- why would that one blow up any longer? And just because it has to get closer to me. I don't know if on hard mode does that actually affect it. If it does, I guess I got some shit to learn. Can't really do much about it, but I just kind of keep playing and dying. Alright, oh, that's actually pretty useful. Although the re-roll, uh, you know, I... It doesn't... I wonder if, if I re-roll, if I get an item and I re-roll it, will I be able to get that other item? Like, if I get Mom's Knife and re-roll it, will it come possibly go back to Mom's Knife? Okay, please don't be a fucking spacebar item. Thank you. Jesus Christ. So, Iron Bar, Concussive Tears are actually pretty good. Um, I'm actually not going to re-roll this quite yet. Because, yeah, this item is very good. Uh, actually, it'll concuss them, which basically confuses them and makes them, like, walk around like idiots. Although, we'll have to see how, how, how often it, it, it changes, because I might just re-roll it. Fuck it, let's re-roll it. I don't even give a shit, okay? What did we get? We got, uh... Oh, we got Cursed Flame, meaning... Oh, we can't take damage from explosions anymore, right? Isn't that what that does? I think that's what that does. I don't think we can take damage from explosions anymore. Um, which is pretty good. If we get like an explosive item, we're gonna be fucking ready because then we have all this extra- Are you fucking kidding me, Gertie? At least we can fly. But yeah, then we'll have all this extra damage uh, while not having to worry about killing ourselves. And any explosive items we pick up fucking fair- No! Fuck! I shouldn't have hit him. I hit him into me. God, this is going horribly. This room is gonna go bad, too. Alright, once we get, like, one good item, I mean, we'll probably be a little bit better off. Uh, it's also- I don't play as good. When, I, when I'm playing, like, by myself, not commentating, I play so much better. When you actually have to talk, it's a lot harder. Notice also on that last video when I was versing Greed, I was kind of not talking. Because it distracts me. And then I'm not able to play my best. And I get- I, I get literally get- you know, I get distracted. And then I- I don't kill something. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Alright, take me to the item room, please. Take me to the item room. I would love to get a passive item to reroll. Or a really good item that I don't have to reroll because it's so good. I should have just kept the concussive. Actually, no. The reroll of that last run was good. Because I got the fucking no fire. Oh, damn. Another one. Oh, God. That was that was smart. And they were like... I, w I expected they were going to run right at me. So I kind of planned for that. And they kind of... They were going towards each other to pack up. It almost killed me. Okay. What is it, Lou? When they get alone, they just turn faster. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. That's really good. Because not only did that give us 10 bombs, but we can re-roll that item. And now we got poison, cold, touch, the cold thing. Which isn't that good, but hey. Got another one right here. We're going to re-roll again. This time we got x-ray glasses. I'm going to keep that one. That's for sure. Because now we can actually go into rooms, secret rooms, freely. At least we'll keep it until we get a few more items to reroll. This reroll item is kind of tricky, because you never know when to stop. It's kind of like gambling. You know, you get a few good items, x-ray goggles, maybe some damage, but then you're like, well, what if I reroll it and get Mom's Knife and Brimstone? And uh, you probably won't, but that's part of the gamble. Good thing we got a lot of bombs. That can be extremely helpful. Um, obviously, Spirit Hearts don't do anything, but I can get the small... This is going horribly. Absolutely horribly. What the fuck is this? D7? Reroll re rewards? Okay, I have to actually look this one up. What the hell is that, man? Reroll rewards. How do you even make a D7? Um, a roll a seven-sided dice. That just seems weird. Alright. <sighs> Wait, show me the fucking... Oh my god, no. Not rebirth. I need afterbirth item. Stop showing me the rebirth one. Nobody... Why don't you just always turn it to this one? Alright, where is it? Oh, that looks fucking sick. Tractor beam. Where is D7? 
Once these will restart the current room and bring back all enemies once again, enabling you to farm rewards that spawn at the end of beating a room. That's really bad. Um, so bad, in fact, that I'm just kind of pissed off that I got that, and I'm just gonna go right again and restart and get a new one. Who the fuck wants D7? Who wants to reroll? I mean, unless you're super strong, but still, man, you don't really get that good of items after rooms, anyways. Um, why would you want to reroll the fucking enemies? It just it literally respawns all the enemies on the room. So, that's pretty bad. Whoa, what's that? Brown cat. Far tomb. I can actually check what it is. Poop in the environment will now explode when destroyed. God damn it, I wish I would not have fucking picked that up. Oh my god, that is going to fucking kill me in like one second. No lie. That's literally going to kill me in one second. How is that any help to me? That's just like... If you don't take damage from explosives, that's going to help. But this is not... No. Oh shit. It's just going to hurt me in the end. Um, unless there's some poop next to something that I can't get. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with the fire. Then maybe it works. See, that's okay. That's an okay you reason to get it, but it's more. It's gonna do more damage than it does help. Some rooms are filled with shit, and but then again, enemies can't destroy the poop. But I mean, I can't control myself from destroying the poop sometimes. You know, that's the problem. So this room's a little tricky. A little tricky with this champion here, especially because he's he's a little bit smarter. I think. I think. Oh, there he goes. He blew up. Come on, buddies. Come on. Alright, hopefully the item room is gonna... There you go. Give me the fucking lazy worm. Much rather have that. Did this slow down my shot? I saw that coming! I... Uh, it's because I forgot... I forget that those guys can shoot. Because normally they can't. Because it's a new enemy. It's hard to play the Lost now because... Of, get down, I download the expansion pack. There's a lot more enemies that I don't understand how they work. Okay, please be a passive. Mega Bean. Giga Fart. What the fuck is this? A mega bean will freeze all enemies in the current like, deal five damage and poison any enemies. Okay. Let's try it out. This seems like it could be actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna want it. Health up, that's great. Thank you. Wow. What what a fucking treat. So mega fart freezes them all. For what? One one second? Are you kidding me? That was it? It frees them for one fucking second. Jesus Christ. Let's go back and get our real item. Cause this one obviously sucks. All right, come on, give me back the fucking real, the D, the D4, so much better than that piece of shit. So yeah, it doesn't count that we actually have it anymore, so we can't re-roll anything, sadly. Although hey, maybe, oh my god, I was like, hey, maybe we'll die. I was like, oh, almost died. I'm not trying to die. I'm just saying, if we do die, I'm, I wouldn't be that upset because I hate getting bad items on the first item room. Uh, especially like a spacebar item for lost because then I can't do anything with it man. I just gotta leave it It's like getting a, a, a kind of good spacebar item. Oh shit It's like playing with Isaac and re-rolling an item into like a space a kind of good spacebar item on the first floor It's like you don't oh come on blow it up Fucker, uh, you don't want to tell you how to d4 the d6 because it's so good Um, so but it's sad because it's, the spacebar item is actually pretty good I also saw it call it spacebar items, but I don't know what else to call it man. I use an Xbox 360 controller now, so it's not, it's everything but a spacebar item, it's a trigger item. But I don't like trigger, it doesn't have as good of a ring to it. Trigger item. Trigger item almost sounds like an item that, <laughs> it almost sounds like something that like triggers somebody's schizophrenia or like, uh, al not Alzheimer's, um, what do you call that again? Ah, fuck. Uh, like shit, like, what, how can I not remember? It's probably because I'm concentrated. Um, the one that makes you yell out profanities out of control, like a sneeze. How do I not... Remember! <sighs> Whatever. That's a trigger. It's a trigger to your anger. Okay, so these guys are on fire. So this is a whole nother run. Let's, let's, okay, this is gonna be the one right now, and I'm telling you that for the, to be completely honest. This is gonna be the fucking one. Give me that fucking sack. Yeah! Two of those. If we get Dark Bomb, this Lover's Card could come in handy, but I really doubt. Actually, no, it wouldn't come in handy. We can't pick up Spear Hearts anyways. So this is a completely useless item. Or card. Alright, let's get to the item room. That way I can start re-rolling our items and trying to get something good. That is what I want. I want, because I actually have two extra re-rolls now from that sack. And uh, that's good news for me. This is actually really bad news for me. Because this room is like, pretty much going to kill me almost guaranteed. Almost guaranteed. Can I get you on the fire? Jesus. Alright, uh, it's no longer guaranteed. In fact, I'll probably survive. There we go. How awesome. Might as well just fight the boss. Larry Jr. again, my friend, my friend, don't fuck me over, please, just give me it. And then let me get the deal with the devil item. All we need is, like, one good deal with the devil, too. 
Once we get a good deal with the devil, we get a couple real items, maybe some, um, maybe a damage up, maybe a brimstone or something like that. Even, even some, even like a cube of meat, you can sometimes get that in a deal with the devil. Would be great, because I, I don't have any damage. You know, that's the reason, that'll, that'll make me take damage. No fucking deal with the devil, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, we got tears and shot speed up, and now that makes me not want to reroll, because this is a great item. So we won't. We're not going to reroll. We're going to keep it. And uh, depending on what we get from the item room, we might reroll everything, we might not. Uh, even if we fucking make it there, because fucking game throws us this room. Like, Jesus, man, I thought this was the first floor. I get it's the burning basement, but Jesus Christ. This is an intense room to have to fight at the very beginning. No matter who, what character you are. Especially if you're not flying, actually. But I get to fly. Okay, there we go. Show me the item room already. Oh, God. He's actually not that hard. Um, it's just sometimes that laser can actually sneak up on you and you can't, you won't notice that he's actually about to fire it like that. And then you get hit. Alright, give me the key. I'll take a key. I'll take a key. I'll take some fire. Okay. A little fucking candy corn, guys. What are these supposed to be? They look like candy corns to me. That rhymes. I didn't want it to rhyme. But it's too late to take it back. I was gonna try to rhyme again, actually. Just to fuck with you guys, but I couldn't come up with one. So, uh, do we have two different shops? No, we don't. There's just one. So, it's, it is just a normal shop. Oh, my God. Uh, so, we just got Infestation. If I remember correctly, Infestation spawns flies when you hit enemies, right? Let me make sure. Um, I have the cheat sheet open up right here. Oh, God. It's so hard to find. Fucking gotta type it in. Infestation. When Isaac gets hit, a few blue spawn... Blue flies. Uh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Let's reroll it. All right, first reroll. Oh, we got mother. Oh my god, we got Cricket's head and we got fucking infamy. So quite possibly the best reroll we could have ever possibly get gotten. Not best, but like pretty damn good. Um, but that's really good because infamy is a damage reduction. So I don't think we're ever gonna reroll anything again. <laughs> and Cricket's head is a damage upgrade. Which I think that's what it is. But it almost looks like it's a new item and not Cricket's head. It almost looks like it's somebody else's head. Why does it not look like Cricket's head? Um, I guess it is Cricket's head. But yeah, Cricket's head's uh, damage multiplier, damage up, everything. Just delicious. So we might as well just get this just to have it, I guess. We're not going to use it. I don't think we're even... I think we're going to try to trade away our space for item when we can, to be quite honest. Because um, now we are on a fucking awesome track. Hopefully, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this a little bit faster so this episode doesn't end up, uh, like, being, like, fucking two hours long. Which it could be. Hey, you shitheads, that's not supposed to happen. So, yeah, now it's a possibility that if we get hit, we might just not die. Uh, we might absorb the damage, which would be great. So, Tinted Rock right here, might as well get it. You never know when one's going to contain a, uh, bomb. And that would be extremely useful. Uh, so, Nosh acts really bad. Really, really bad. Don't need that at all. Uh, it's from reference to Minecraft, obviously. Um, couldn't have made a better item, though? Come on, guys. Oh, fuck. This is a scary room. And I'm just gonna leave. Why? What's with all these bomb rooms now? Why would I, why would I become the lost, man? <laughs> all these rooms with bombs just, like, rigged up across the whole thing. Alright, where's our second... Where's our... Oh, yeah, there's only one... We already got our item room. Kind of disappointing. Hopefully, we can get a deal with the devil this, one, this time. All deal with the devil items are free, so there's no reason not to collect them. Actually, there is. Um, if I get a deal with the devil and all the items are bad, I might just not get it. Because, and hear me out, uh, one of the best items we could ever po oh god, possibly get is the, uh, whatever that shield is, the ho holy mantle? No. Whatever one makes it so you can get hit once and not take, not take damage. It basically, every, every you, have a sh you have a shield that, um, regenerates every room. And when you get hit, it depletes. It's, you, you can take one hit each room. I'm so bad at explaining this. You can take one hit each room um, with, without dying. And it respawns after the room. So we don't really need that key. I'm not going to risk it. I would be so pissed if I died right there. So not really worth that risk. Um, let's instead just try to find the boss room. There it is. And we'll head on there. I'm not even, even sure if we'll continue the rest of the floor. There's really no reason to. How much stuff really could there be back there? And a monstro. And uh, this is scary. Very, very scary. Small, tiny room with Monstro. Not a... Like, what the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to dodge that? You gotta be kidding me. God damn it. And we're only at 20 minutes. Ah, you gotta be fucking joking, man.
That is fucking dumb. Okay. We're gonna do it one more time. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna check out the item room really quick. And if it sucks, we're gonna go into fucking greed mode. And we're gonna try out greed mode instead. Because that's that's my shit. That's what I wanna try out right now. Um, I feel like this episode will be too long if I do a whole normal run. And greed mode will for sure end faster. Alright, two of those is good to get. Very good to get at the beginning. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh! I thought I just died because I thought I had not gone into the right place. Oh my god, we got the fucking blood of the martyr. Well, okay, where the f- hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to move the item- yeah, shit, the item thing back. It, it moved it onto my other screen for some reason. Alright. Uh, I want to check out how much of this is, actually, because I'm curious. Because I, I, I rarely see it, and uh, it seems good. One damage up and a damage multiplier. Woo-wee! Not going to reroll that, baby. This we are keeping. That's that's for sure. So this run might actually be good. Since that item is so good, what we just got, we'll continue on until we win or lose. And if it's too late, we just will end off the episode. Uh, if, if we die sooner, we might just do greed mode. All right, Larry Jr., pretty great boss to fight, especially with uh, a big room like this. A lot less risk. Oh god, it's like Snake, though. He's gonna, like, trap me in his tail. Um, it's a lot less risk, though. But he's still tanking, man. Where's my damage? I thought I definitely had more damage than this. This is kind of weird. Uh, maybe he just has more health because he's, like, blue. Look at him, he has not broken yet. I think if we just keep hitting his face... Why does it do some weird yellow thing when I hit his face? Does that mean it's doing more damage? I don't know. I don't know, but, uh, there we go. I don't like splitting him up like that. Just a little sketchy. That's why I like hitting his face. No fucking deal with the devil. And, of course, a fucking HP up. Go fuck yourself. Could have been something better. But at least we got Martyr. Blood of the Martyr. Can't really complain about that one. Okay. Also, if I ever get any teleport cards, then I can go to Curse Rooms. Because you don't take damage when you fly and go... When you have flying and go into a Curse Room, you don't actually take damage. It's only when you're going out. Uh, so that could be cool. So, um... Now that I got Blood of the Martyr, though, I don't feel like I'm ever going to reroll stuff, so it's kind of kind of tricky. Now I gotta hope I actually get good items instead of bad stuff. I think, do you, can you get something for beating fucking boss rush mode on, on hard mode with the loss? I guess I'm going to try this this time. I guess that's my goal for this one, since I got Blood of the Martyr, and uh, we're on a good track. I'm going to try to do boss rush mode. Meaning, I'm going to be rushing these floors a little, just, just as much as I need to, to be able to get to uh, Mom uh, fast enough. Okay. Probably one of the worst items we could get. But this is going to be more stuff to re-roll, at least. Um, true, the more items we get that we don't need, it sucks. But also, the more items we get the, 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 we get that we don't need, the more items we could possibly have to re-roll later if we ever decide that Blood of the Martyr isn't that important anymore. So if I find another damage upgrade, I might re-roll and then pick up the damage upgrade. Because um, all these items we've been getting are, recently are really bad. And uh, can I please kill this poop? Yeah, they're all really bad, and come on. Thank you. Oh, counterfeit penny's not bad. Um, and yeah, uh, you never know what we can get. You know, we never know. I think it could turn into brimstone, right? I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Oh, God, no. Once a fucking again. Almost died there immediately, because he fucking shoots tracking shots, and that's always good. That's always good. Uh, luckily, we do have the, the blood of the martyr, though, because this thing is definitely... In need of some, uh, in need of a little damage to beat this guy. Definitely. What are those things these guys are dropping on the f Are you fucking joking?! What the fuck is up with that guy, dude? Why do I fight him every fucking boss room? Alright, we're playing greed mode. That's it. I'm playing greed mode. Which is arguably harder, but, um... Okay, evil up. Give me some bombs. We'll reroll that instantaneously. And we will get... Is that liver? That doesn't do anything either. That gives us a 2 HP upgrade. Probably one of the best... I think the best health upgrade in the game. Too bad it doesn't do anything. Are you kidding me? Are we going to start shitting bombs now? That's going to happen? That is ridiculous. I'm scared now. I think it's not liver. I think it's an item that actually spawns bombs underneath my ass. So that's even... That's a lot worse. So the cool thing about the greed on this mode is I think... Every time spawn enemies spawn... Um... Yeah, see, it recharges my item. So... What the fuck? Are you kidding me? What is with this spawning fucking bombs? Go fuck yourself, game. What what kind of fucking item spawns fucking bombs? Like, come on. Under your fucking ass. That is the stupidest fucking item I've ever seen. Those items like remote detonator that are just bad because it damages enemies but it also hurts you. That item has like no fucking positive effect. Like, sure, the bombs might hit enemies, 
but if it's unpredictable, then 99% of the time you're not going to be near an enemy for it to be able to be used. It's just stupid. So let's keep beating up this thing. Uh, this could be the one. At least I'm getting practice with the loss a little bit, understanding a little bit more strategy to play with him. Learning to play a little bit more defensively too, because that's definitely what you gotta do with him. Oh my god. What what chooses how, how many coins spawn, by the way? I have to almost feel like it's when you stand on this specific point. More enemies, more enemies turn into gold. But, yeah, see, look at that. They turn into gold because I was standing there, right? Oh god, there's more enemies coming. Okay, this um, this this room I'm not worried about quite yet. Uh, the next enemies might fuck me over. These guys are all very easy though, since I can just fly around the room. These guys are not easy. This is where I get fucked. This is where I get fucked. Actually, I don't think they can kill me here. So if we just stick up here and chill, I think we'll be safe. Oh no, it's spawning more. Please don't be like something that can kill me up here at least. All right, I think we're good. I think we are good. Once we get our first amount of money, we can really start doing some work. It is really hard to not take damage. <laughs> I didn't really realize how bad it would be. Um, he can fly, but he... I mean, if I get mom's... If I get brimstone or mom's knife and stuff like that, it's so much easier for me to... No! Fuck! I didn't see him! I totally didn't see him! How did that happen? The fucking matchbook again. Reroll it. And... Oh, did it not fucking re-roll it? Are you joking? You know what? Go fuck yourself, man. I'm not, I, I don't have to take that shit. I re-rolled the item after I picked it up, and it didn't register it yet as re -roll, as, as in my inventory. Alright, Lil' Steven is actually really good. We're gonna keep this guy. Um, just gives us extra little shots. Definitely worth keeping for this first little uh, bustle. Um, because they're tracking shots, so it's gonna be that extra little shot that I need that I can't quite get. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, let's pick up this money. I think it might actually spawn more if we pick it up. Maybe not. Who- what decides how many of them turn into money, though? That's just weird. Oh god, that's kind of scary. Oh no! Oh shit! That was not good. Oh god, these guys are bad. These guys are bad boys. Bad boys. Oh! The fly is spawning on me. Shouldn't have too many waves here left. They've been pretty easy so far. A lot of flies and such. Is that dime up there? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. You didn't really just give me this this kind of a wave, right? This is a not an easy wave. The spider alone is quite possibly the biggest. Oh, no. And meat? No. No. God damn it. I saw that coming. Shit, man. Can I get, like, Judas's black... Judas... Shadow or something? That would be great. Stem cells, HP up, immediately re-roll that, and we get- Oh my god, Blood of the Martyr! That is perfect. There might be a key in here. There's not, but it was worth a try. There's actually a bomb. But there's nothing to bomb. Um, so, actually, you know what? You know, you know, fuck it, man. I've gotten money from them before. And, uh, spiders, apparently, too. Alright, this is gonna be the one, guys! This is gonna be the fucking one right here. I got my damage. I'm fucking ready. I am fucking ready. Blood of the Martyr is here for me. No reason to reroll anything else now. We're just gonna keep getting good pickups and shitting on everybody. Look at these guys. One hit, all of them. All of them. These guys shoot. I gotta remember that. They're not like the other guys that don't really shoot. I mean, these ones shoot too. No, they shoot with their head off. These guys shoot fucking willy nilly. Willy nilly, also a word I don't really use that often. <laughs> but maybe I should. Oh god, dude, I hate how fast- These spiders are actually one of those enemies that can fucking sneak up on you and basically, like, rush you uh, when they're going slow like that and then just, like, run across the map halfway uh, in, like, half a second. Okay, can you stop spawning babies, please? This is not cool. <gasps> Almost walked right fucking between them. Y'all don't know where to stand on this because I keep standing right in the wrong spots. And then like, they spawn and they're just, like, their arms around me like, hey, guy. And then, and then they don't, they don't hurt me. I've been lucky so far. I've been really lucky. Yeah, yeah, punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, that was kind of scary. I almost literally just walked right into him. So as long as it doesn't spawn any spiders. Okay, meat. That's perfect. Well, not perfect, but better than spiders. And this is the last one, actually. So we can kill this guy. Also, uh, I noticed in greed mode when I was playing it before, as you go on... Uh, flying becomes le yet less useful because less rocks and stuff are in the room. There's less gaps and less all that stuff. So the game, they know. 
They know, they know, they know. Alright. And yeah, as you can see, there's not really any gaps in here at all. So that does make it a little troubling. Okay. Awesome. 19 coins. Why does everything have to be hidden? You gonna do that to me for real? Man, that's not cool. Well, I think I'm gonna buy a key. And we'll start off with the item room, I suppose. Oh, wow. Two items. Oh, no. It was one. Doctor's remote. Thanks for the shittiest fucking item you could possibly give me. And, um... Ah. Uh, well, we'll get another key and do this because... Hey, look, an item. Oh, Guppy's head. Another fucking spacebar item. Can you go fuck yourself, game? Will this actually re-roll? I'm gonna be sad if it doesn't re-roll the Guppy. I'm so sad right now. Oh, here we go. I'm not gonna doubt... I don't doubt that we die right now because now we're actually versing bosses and then we didn't get shit. We didn't get shit. We got two fucking spacebar items as usual. Um, Lil Steven's not that hard. So maybe, just maybe, we can beat him, and then it'll give us enough coins to buy an item. Doesn't look like it, though. We only have nine. So maybe we'll buy another key and open up that other chest, which maybe will give us more money in another key. Although we don't really need another key at this point. We just need money to be able to buy some kind of fucking item. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Hopefully another one doesn't spawn after this. Oh, are, are they? Yeah, they are. Whatever it is. Oh, shit. All right, it's Gemini. He's easy. Another easy guy. You had to spawn some enemies, though, with it, didn't you? You better give me one more fucking coin game. You can't end me off on 14 fucking coins. That's not how this shit works. Okay? You really can't do that. Because then I'll, I'm one coin away from being able to buy an item. So far, so good. Best best we've done on greed mode so far. And sure, we uh, got two shitty space or items that we have no use for. But also... Um, that guppy item gives us one of the three guppy items, uh, which will give us, uh, spawn, fly spawning. And, that, uh, other spacebar item, I guess it takes it off the list now. And we already have Blood of the Martyr, so, you know, we're, we're already pretty good. We could have gotten, like, HP upgrades. That actually would have been better, but whatever. Because we can reroll that. <laughs> Hello, we unlocked the cellar? What are you talking about, unlocked the cellar? Haven't we always had the cellar? Um, I don't know. But whatever. Oh, great. Um, I guess we have to do this. This is for the deal with the devil. Double fucking monstro. I can handle this. I can fucking handle this. This is not even that bad. It's really not even that bad. It's just best to get them grouped up as much as you can. Um, which is more of their own thing. You can't really control it too much. And probably best to try to kill one first. So I'll try to attack this guy right- I FUCKING WALKED INTO THAT SHOT! Oh god. Too much, man. If I had got- Ooh, what is this bitch? Alright, let me, let me try to find what this person is really quick. Look up that item. She's definitely a new item. Do Mr. Dolly. Seven tears up, range up to your height. Spawns three random types of hearts on the floor when... Um... Okay. I don't really need that. I am shooting a little fast though, so that's not bad. We'll keep this for now. Head up into here. Nothing, nothing really good in here. Fuck it, we'll re-roll it. I love re-rolling it, man. I'm just... There you go. Oh, man, we got the onion thing. Oh, God, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> uh, is this Toxic Aura? I think I got Toxic Aura. Which is not the worst, but... I mean, the, the, the shots penetrate enemies now, which is cool. But, like, my, my range is really low now. Which, the reason that's bad is I can't... I can only take one heart of damage, so... Having to get close to enemies is worth. An item like the Brimstone is quite possibly one of the best items for the Lost. Because he can stay back as far as he needs to. Um, but yeah, these ones... Eh, close range stuff, not really my cup of tea. For this for this character, at least. Close range stuff in general isn't that good. But when it gives you damage like Toxic Aura or uh, Penetration like this, it's not the worst. Also, why do they call them Toxic Aura tiers? This is not a Toxic Aura. They're just shots that penetrate enemies. It's just like piercing shots. And then they do a range down and they make them bigger. I don't see what what, what that has to do with an aura. Uh, like the toxic aura bombs. That makes sense because the whole room is an aura of toxic activity. Toxic aura is almost bad in a way in which uh, I can't actually knock back enemies. So that's an interesting uh, counter to this item that kind of makes it a little worse. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. All right, get away. I almost got hit there. God, that, my heart exploded. These guys can, I think, kill me over rocks, so... Let's get rid of them as fast as we can and almost die again. 
we're not I already know we're not gonna like win on this run this is more just fun and just like trying to kill shit but uh you know might as well just keep going you know it's 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 good enough I'm not gonna make a whole run but uh it's not that bad. BFF doesn't BFF actually make all flies like friendly to us actually hmm it's very interesting um, BFF which I can probably find it pretty quickly on here or I'm gonna have to search it. Um, BFF makes all of Isaac's familiars much bigger. Causes, wait, makes all of Isaac's familiars bigger. Oh, that's that's pretty bad. Um, well, coin purse has a chance of being really good because I can. Can't I re-roll it too? Yeah, I can re-roll it. So we can get pills. Are you a wizard? Really bad. One makes you small. Not that bad. I can see forever is pretty good. And I found pills. So pretty useless. But, uh, not the worst thing that's ever happened, so... Can we find, like, the a secret room? Is there gonna be one? Doesn't look like it. And we're shooting sideways, so now... I mean, I don't wanna wait a fucking minute for it to go away. So good thing it's fucking Steve, Steven, because... This is the only boss that's, like, this easy to do, especially with having these tears. There we go. Now we're really pooping on him, especially since it goes through and hits his little asshole friend. That's pretty nice. Although he's shooting a little fast now. He's shooting pretty good. He's doing pretty good. Um, it's also maybe kind of good. This item's actually better for little guys like that that follow you. Because when you hit enemies like this and knock them back, it, it knocks them out of your way. And it also, I mean, out of the way of your shots. And it also might knock them into you. So, kind of scary. Oh my god. Alright. And Steven's still alive, but now he's dead. All we gotta do is take care of Monstro. Um, and then we can not have enough money to go buy something. Hooray. Maybe, maybe we'll just try to, for the deal with the devil again. I know, I'm being too ballsy. That's the gr It's called greed for a reason, because I'm being a little bit too greedy. But when I think about it, I feel like the boss on here for the devil is probably the same amount of difficulty as like the first like normal wave on the next floor. So either way, if I leave this and go do that, it's probably going to be just as hard and not as rewarding, because all the deal with the devil items are free for me. So uh, really good motivation to go do that. Okay, hopefully this is the only boss, and and then it gives us the, uh... Oh no, it is! We just fought Steven, so this is the second boss, what am I saying? Maybe he'll give us, like, two more coins? High hopes, high hopes, high hopes. Some of these monstro shots really sneak on you, man. Some, you know, you don't see them coming, they, they lob in a weird way. And then, before you know it, it's on top of your head. Alright, give me some coins! You motherfucker. Well, uh, we need a key anyways to get the item room. Brass Knuckles isn't bad. Just, or, uh, tough love, I guess, technically. Because uh, it shoots, every now and then it'll shoot a, a Brass Knuckle. As you can see, it's pretty damn uncommon. But let's give it a go! Alright, Widow. Widow, Widow, Widow. This is a good boss. This is a great boss to fight. Because um, it could have been a lot worse, basically. It's not obviously the easiest boss because she spawns spiders. Which will one hit me, but um, this could be a lot worse. Like I said, look at the positive part of it. I fucking when did you jump twice as far? What the fuck? Sometimes they just do that, man. God damn it. HP up. Let's re-roll it. Oh my god, it fucking did it again. I fucking picked up the item and then clicked re-roll. How in the fuck are you gonna tell me that I didn't have the item yet? This is gonna be the last run. We'll see how well we can do. Oh, it's the fucking same item. You're gonna fuck with me now? Oh, I got it? Do I have it? Now can I use my fucking reroll? Thank you. Fucking mom's heart. A fucking health upgrade. Oh, God. Um, what is this? What is that? I want to know what that is, because I'm probably gonna buy that. Um, normally it's probably... Continuum. Range transcendent. Tears will not travel through walls and appear out the opposite wall? That sounds cool. But not, like, that good. But it could be kind of good. I mean, okay, it's a cool idea, but it's not that good. We'll see where it leads us. If we can get enough money, we'll probably go ahead and buy it and try it out, and then maybe re-roll it if it's not up to par. If it's a little bit too subpar, we'll re-roll it. Alright, come on, little spiders. Come on, little buddies. I see you there. Come on. So yeah, I think if we pick up this money slowly, it'll be better. I'm really good at dodging when I concentrate, it's just that dodging through shots can sometimes be tricky. Like, I'll show you guys, I'll just fuck around right now and dodge through like- Never mind. That guy shot at me. These guys are great with their fucking shot- he- he- he fucking, like, he knew where I was going, that kind of shit. Cracker Jacks, what did that do? 
Extended stat effect time and Cracker Jacks do exactly what? Health up spawns a random trinket. Let's reroll it. I mean, I, I like the trinket. Oh, we got. Oh, yes. We got the fucking. The, what do you call it? This is good. This is good. Look at that little spider. What? That's awesome. Does he go around and, like, shoot people and blow up and shit? Oh, that's good. Look at this. A pill. Speed down. Thanks a lot. You can go fuck your. Fucking kill yourself. As if our speed wasn't low enough, man. Yeah, it really had to just give us a speed downgrade. That is just not. Oh, my God. Fucking Cricket's head. Holy shit. Alright, well, I don't think we're re-rolling stuff now. I think we're on a great track. Damage up, and we have the fucking slime. Uh, the, the, what do you call, uh, it's, it's slick. It's like oil slick. Um, which should work a lot better. Then we can go in, maybe buy that spider. I love, I love, uh, things that actually go around and kill stuff for you. That means, uh, especially with the loss, it's good, because I can go hide in a corner, and, uh, while the little guy does most of the work. Even if it takes longer, it's worth it. Because I won't die. More coins, some more coins. More enemies as well. I have fucking ones that shoot. I gotta remember that I can't walk on stuff because sure I, I, I spray out black goop, but that doesn't necessarily mean I can walk on other people's goops. Just because you have goop doesn't mean you can walk all over everybody else's goop. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, candy corn. Very easy. I don't know why it gave me the easiest one now. Um, oh my god. That was fucked. That was a lot of bombs. I mean, actually, I kind of like that, because that saved me a, uh... Alright, 19 coins. Let's check out what this little spider thing does. It is... Da -da 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 -da. Spider Mob. A familiar gray spider that wanders around and allows you to see your tier damage and the health bars of all enemies. The spider will inflict random status effect on any enemies it comes in contact with. Players, all damage values are displayed by a multiple of 10 rounds of division. Item is a reference to... For the original game, the ones that I don't know about this. That's a pretty bad item. What's this thing do? This weird cross item. This ca chaos causes all and all item pools to be mixed up randomly. When picked up, drops between one to six pickups. Will be Wait, what? All item pools to be mixed up? No, because that makes deal with the devil item pools mixed up, and I don't want that. So, um, I'm gonna get the key first and uh, if we get enough money to come buy a thing I might just buy the robot thing it's just not really worth it and we get fucking Bob's rotten head which you might as well toss over there oh shit just went right through um okay well let's keep going oh my god <laughs> I'm gonna be careful where I stand so yeah I'm not looking to reroll anything so any spacebar items I get I might just take it now cuz at this point where we just got re two really good items damage upgrade and um, a tear effect and a, a walking, like, a, a pool effect or whatever, like a, a slick oil effect, I guess you call it. And, uh, that's really all we need right now. Uh, if we re-roll it, it would probably just turn into something bad. But I'll probably keep the re-roll just in case. Alright, Duke of Flies, thank you. You couldn't have given me two easier bosses, to be quite honest. Literally, could not have. These are, like, the two easiest bosses you could ever fight. Um, Duke of Flies. Duke of Flies, I think, is probably the one of the, probably the easiest boss. Because Monstro, while he is easy, he's only easy because you know his pattern. Um, Alright, we have money. Okay, I'll just buy the robot thing. It's kind of cool. I kind of wanted to see what it did anyways. And uh, now we can. So, deal with the devil now. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, this is sick. Oh, oh okay, so that's actually useful. Because it, it doesn't show their health. It shows their current health. Oh my god, I almost died there like three times. It actually shows their current health. So that's actually really useful, and I'm hitting 67s, which is like a 6.7 damage. Because it says that it's rounded. It's multiplied by 10 and then rounded up or down. Oh my god. For the sake of simplicity. Or else it'd be like 6.7 instead of 67, which might be a little annoying. Is this the only boss I have to face? I'd be so happy if it was and I got the deal with the devil right now. I would be so happy. Hear that game, I'd be so happy. Please do it. Don't let me. Don't make me fight another one. Yeah! Fuck yeah! <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? There's no fucking way we just got both of these. Judas's fucking shadow, dude. There's no way. That is so good. Spectral tear is not really good. We have that already. But oh my god! How long are we on this recording now? Now I feel weird because oh, that's gonna be such a long one. Um, what that basically means, if you don't understand, is I now. If I die, I will respawn with double damage. 
and that alone is enough to be quite a big advantage. Alright, well, that's it for this floor. Let's head down here and not die in this room in case there's enemies. Oh my god, that could have killed me. Easily could have fucking killed me. Uh, it would have done Judas's shadow, but I'm saving that shit as long as I fucking can. If we can beat greed mode with the lost, I beat ultra greed without taking any damage on that one try. On the last try, so... Oh. That's a no-no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Speed up, size down is a great item. Uh, for us right now. And we got speed down pill, so let's not use that. But yeah, Ipecac, no. Just, there's no way I'm getting that. Absolutely no way. We'll blow up this guy. See what we can get from it. Oh yes! Guppy's head's good. Because it gives us a Guppy item, and then we might be able to become Guppy. Um, I won't buy that chair card. Let's instead just start the floor. And see what we can do. Alright, alright. What just hurt him? Oh, it was my fly that did double my damage. Oh shit! These guys are fucking beasts. Those little black, these little black slime ball things are, are really good. They're really scary, actually. Um, they took four of my hits. Okay, calm down. Okay, calm down, buddy. I can't let them spawn too fast, or else I might get an enemy that flies. And yeah, just like the bats, and then can actually come over here and kill me, dude. They're fucking. Did you see him strafing away all my hits? Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, got that bat. Come on. Just die. Just die! Okay. Oh no. Why am I doing so bad? I feel like the enemies are really dodging well this time. As of right now. And, uh, that's not good for me. Because <laughs> the worse I do, the more enemies are going to spawn at once. Simply. Yep. These leeches aren't bad by themselves, actually. As if there's a sp leech spawner, that's kind of scary. Alright, six seconds. There's another wave, though. See, this was about as hard as a deal with the devil on the last one. We had a uh, monstro. Alright. We came close, but... If any this is way harder. Okay, cool. We can't no longer die. I mean, we could if we played dumb, but... Uh, I'm gonna be hiding a lot in here. To not take damage from these little fuckers. Because these things can sneak up on you. They actually move pretty fast sometimes. Alright. Is it over? Oh no, there's these guys still. Shit. Oh no! No, 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 no. That gun's gonna spawn a spider too. Or a black spider, which... Arguably worse. Because these guys actually move quite a bit too. And then you got two spiders on your hands. There we go! Awesome, we got our money. And uh, the one up, man, is that... That's a good idea. I'm gonna fucking get the one up. Why the fuck not, man? You know, that's that's exactly kind of what I need right now, because I can die, respawn as Dark Judas, and then if I die, I'll respawn again. And I think I'll still have my damage as Dark, Dark Judas, so... Awesome. Um, this is a double boss thingy. So we gotta... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get fucked, man. You're getting wrecked up in this bitch. I love that they have separate HP bars, too. That is really helpful. For bossing... This, I'm really actually glad I got the spider mod. For bossing, it's probably one of the most useful things. For things like when you got two monstros, you want to remember which one you're trying to kill first. It's a pretty big deal. And look at that, he just fucking froze him. Alright, now we got chat. Lil ch or Chub. Chub. Right? Chub? I don't know. I, I'm forgetting already. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, though. Especially if we all could just stay here when we get in trouble. And, uh, oh no! Uh, whole life flashed before my eyes right there. Yeah, we, we might as well just stay here. Stop fucking around, Sean. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> oh dear. I think this might be safer here. This is probably a better place. He's scared of us. Oh my god. What is my damage doing like everything to him now? I guess when they're feared, the damage actually... When you hit one part of them, it damages all their parts. That's an interesting thing. Unless it was a different effect, like a new one that I don't know about yet. And there we go. Uh, you got another 15 coins. I believe the blank card lets you, like, use cards as long as you want. But what's this, what's this, um, safety pin? What is that again? It's not shot tears up? Range up, shot, shot up, black, shot speed up. It's really low shot speed up. What's my range? I could use range. I could use range. Yeah! That was actually needed, so I'm glad I did that. And we're gonna do the boss for the, uh, boss to deal with the devil. And we get one of the harder bosses. It's a new guy. He's really hard. He's actually really hard. 
Um, but our range is up now. I'm really glad I got that range upgrade. That's going to help out a lot. Especially, you know, we want to stay as far away from our enemies as we can. And this is going to help us do that. Remember, if we get hit while we die, like we almost did right there, we also respawn with double damage um, as Judas. And no! So close. Oh my god. We are so close. Come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm focusing so hard right now. Come on! Yeah, we did it! Please give me something good. No! No! Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? And it's the fucking one-up and not the fucking Judas. Ugh. Wow. Why the fuck do I get Krampus? Of all fucking things, I get fucking Krampus and then he fucking kills me. But, we had a life. We had a life indeed, so we are back at it. And we still have another life. And this is actually kind of a good item. Yeah, look at that. Tears and shot speed up. What's in here? Let's see. Um, nothing really special over here. I'll destroy this poop in case something has money in it. Look at that penny. I guess it's worth it. See, sometimes they'll have dimes and nickels in it. So that's, like, great. That's a lot. Um, I don't really need that blue treasure map. Oh, I want this. I want that for sure. That's a damage upgrade right there. I believe, at least. Um, and our damage needs to be higher than 67 already. We need to get up a little bit higher. So this room still has rocks. Really happy about that. Wow, those guys have a lot of health. Um, it still has rocks so I can hide from enemies. So that's a big plus. Ooh, almost got, almost died right there. Oh shit. Oh my god, that was a close one. Oh god! <laughs> Don't do that. I hate enemies that land and shoot when they land, because they, they shoot so fast. You're really gonna give me exactly what I just got because I said that it's hard? FUCK YOU! FUCK! Now I'm scared. Is it gonna give me the same bullshit? I couldn't get one more coin? Is this some kind of sick joke? Give me a coin, please. Oh my god. Okay, well we might as well play this like once. Oh my lord! There's no fucking way we just got that. There is no fucking way we just got a dollar. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. On greed mode, um, is maybe one of the greatest things you can get. What does that do? Is that like a piercing? Speed up, turn, tears now turn into arrowheads and pierce through enemies. Tears do not travel through rocks with this item. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to give up my, um, my, uh, my knockback, you know? That might actually hurt me more than it helps me. Eh. Uh. Then again, we do have high damage. Oh shit, I got the wrong thing. Ah, fuck. D6 actually could could not could be not that bad. Um, do we have two health now? Wait a minute, we're fucking Judas now. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what a fucking piece of shit. That means that if we die, ugh. Oh, God damn it. Well, might as well do Lazarus, I guess. Fucking rags. If we die, I mean, if we win, it's not a win as a loss. To fucking win as fucking Judas. Fuck, now I want to die. This is just stupid. That just pisses me off so much. Fuck, man, why does it have to do that? Like, I get I'm respawning as Judas, but I'm starting as the fucking loss to try to beat this challenge, man. And now everything is just spoiled. Everything. Everything is spoiled. Because I can't get the win with fucking loss, and I was doing so fucking good. I guess I wasn't doing that good because I was dying. But whatever, man. Just not as exciting anymore. Piercing shots. Okay, actually, piercing shots are good because I can hit through them. So we might as well turn this into like a little bit of a speed run. And just kind of... I mean, we have so much damage. It's just a speed run either way. Because uh, we're shitting on everything. But now I'm not afraid to take damage. As you can see, I'm just kind of eating up as much damage as I can. I'm kind of pissed. I kind of want to lose now. <laughs> but I shouldn't. I should just kind of go ahead and, and finish it. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's actually kind of risky. But look at this guy. He's, he doesn't stand a chance. Deal with the devil. Actually is gonna charge us now, luckily. Oh my god. Oh shit. Fucking mom's knife. Oh shit. What to do, what to do. Oh, what's that? Bomber boy. Explosive blasts. Oh! Almost just died. Um, okay, so health right here. We can't actually get that. I mean, if we get it, we'll die and respawn as Lazarus. Um, 
Rainbow baby. Okay. Are you kidding me? Where the fuck is the deal? It fucking disappeared? Why? It's never happened on this fucking mode. This is... Oh, cool. Thanks for this three fucking paralysis pills, guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, dear. Okay, next floor. Obviously, we're still powerful, but... Man, just... Lost all of my hope and excitement for this run when it took away fucking Lost. The whole point was to beat it as Lost and get a cool item. Not to fucking beat it and then get... I wish I wouldn't have picked up Judas's shadow now. I mean, I would have been dead, but... Maybe if I didn't pick it up, I, I was also a little bit less weary because I knew that when I died, I would finally respawn with double damage. And then be like, awesome, double damage lost, all that would be great. So I, was, I wasn't really, like, being as careful as I should have been. Come on. So, uh, whether or not we win or lose this run, no big deal. It's going to be a long episode, of course. Uh, which kind of annoys me because it doesn't seem like people get... People don't like long episodes as much. And a long episode just to beat it with fucking greed mode with Lazarus is pretty shitty. But we need to beat it with him at some point. So now that we're going to do it now, we're not going to have to do it after. So I guess I do have to look at the positive of it. Uh, that we will get another beat in greed mode. I want to beat... I want to get every single badge for every single fucking character is my, is my hopes. Battery, not too good. We're not re-rolling our stuff anymore. Why didn't I get the D6? I'm an idiot. I should have gotten the D6. That was so stupid. Because, yeah, we don't need to re-roll our items. Oh. D directed tears. What? Like, as in directed tears. Automatically directed at a red target on... No! <laughs> no, I've gotten this item. No, I hate this item. This item is really bad. It's actually really bad. Fuck. And I think I just stopped it. You literally aim with this fucking thing now. Like, who wants that? It's only good if I want to do this. See, I can. I don't, I don't have to actually, like, aim. But, ah, come on. And then I accidentally stopped it, and everything's just fucked. This is not a good item. Not a good item at all. Could they also have made it any worse of a fucking color? Red? Do you know how much red floors you guys have in your game? Why didn't you make it, like, a fucking neon, like, yellow? I'm gonna die. Why don't you make it like neon yellow? When did I even get hit? Oh, I'm, I'm Lazarus' rags now. Okay. So I think we still have double damage. No, we don't. Uh, that's that's lame. Why? Why? Because we're not fucking Judas! God damn, man. Why does the game have to do this? Such, such weird shit. Alright. Um, I guess we might as well get the extended stat effect time. Head up into our shop. There's nothing good in here, so let's re-roll it. Um, still... This is okay for five. Faith up. Oh, I thought that was a uh, shit. All right, what does Pandora's box do again? Um, cave one, depths one, four soul halts, depth of the boss item. One or one, two. Hmm, I'm going to take it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And we're going to get a deal with the devil now. Oh, it's Harlequin Baby. What, what easier boss to fight, to be quite honest. Oh, it's double Harlequin Baby. Oh, no, and we can't step on the red. Uh... We're dead. Yeah, there's no way. Alrighty, guys. That's it for this episode of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Watching me die a few times. Checking out Lost and then getting angry when we lost Lost. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified uh, when I upload new videos. And if you want to be a babe and be part of the babe brigade, subscribe today. And have a nice day.